I had to do this video because this is ridiculous. I'm talking to you, the Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada police officers who arrested a 19 year old girl at gunpoint dressed as a Star Wars stormtrooper carrying a blaster outside of a Star Wars themed restaurant on Star Wars Day. You didn't piece it together? Listen, we'll get to the video here in a second, but here's the gist of the story. Somebody calls 911, right? Says there's, you know, somebody out on the street that has a gun, dressed in some sort of armor that they had no, that, that they didn't recognize carrying a gun. Okay, hey, you know what? They call 911, the cops get a call. There's somebody out on the street with a gun. I get it, man. That's serious shit, right? That's some serious fucking shit. You want to get there as quickly as you possibly can and take care of the situation, especially in the climate we live in now and everything going on. I get it. I understand it. I respect it. The utmost respect to our men and women in uniform, right? I get it, right? I, I, I That's not an argument. We're not arguing arguing that. But when you arrive on scene and you realize that the person in the Star Wars themed outfit, okay, in the st in the stormtrooper costume is like one of those pizza guys that stand on the side of the road waving the sign. That's essentially what she is, okay? And you realize she's doing it in front of a Star Wars themed restaurant. You didn't piece it together. You didn't arrive on scene and go, oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on a sec. I think I know it. No, you get out of the, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Really? Really? I mean, the poor 19 year old, hey, what the fuck? Even the, the, the manager or the employee at the restaurant's like, hey, seriously? Back away, sir. Back away. Are you bored? Has COVID-19, you know, the, the isolation and the, is it getting to you? You know, now I know there are some people that are going to chime in and say, hey, Dave, they were just doing their job. Oh, no, I get it. I get it, man. I get it. I get it. We're not talking, to, we're, we're not, make, but let's think about this for a moment. You didn't piece it together. Was it really necessary to take it that far? Really? And when you realize the gun was plastic, you decided to handcuff her anyway. When you realize that she was just, oh, she's one of those, oh, she, you still arrested her. What the fuck is wrong with you? And there were like three or four of you. Not one of you said, oh, hang on a sec, guys. I think I know what's going on here. No, didn't think to, no, no, it didn't, it didn't cross your mind. Eh? Hmm, I see. Now again, because I know there are going to be people that are going to be coming at me about this. We're not arguing the seriousness of a potential or the, 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 the likelihood of a potential serious situation when somebody calls 911 saying there's somebody got a gun. I get that. We know that, right? That's some fucking serious shit there. But really? Even after you realize, oh, it's, it's a 19-year-old restaurant employee dressed in a Star Wars outfit with a plat, it's somebody cosplaying? Get on the ground! Are you, seriously? What the fuck are you guys on? Let's watch the video. Here's the video. You're not going to hear it, okay? You're not going to hear it because it's in my phones here, but I'll keep you entertained throughout. Okay, so let's watch this here. All right. So the, the, the guy in, in my phones right now is just saying, hey, can you dance? You know, what are you doing? There's a, there's a Star Wars theme sort of, I, I'll read an article here in a second, but it's, it's, uh, it's behind, r r there, see, Coco, uh, Coco Vanilla uh, Galactic something or other. Anyway, here we are here. Here are the cops. We got one, we got a pickup truck with one cop. There's a cop. There she is, hands up in the air. Two cops, three cops. That's right. Uh, so there's three, there's three cars, three or four cops. So they're saying down on the ground, get down on the ground, down on the ground. Now the girl later said that she couldn't hear them through their helmet. I don't know if I believe that entirely, but I think she was probably just like, are you serious? I would believe that more. Like, are you, are you fucking serious right now? That's what I'd believe more. There she is on the ground, on her knees. Fake blaster in her hand. This police officer here is, get on the ground! Get on your stomach! S seriously? Is, it, it's, and then this guy here is like, it's a plastic gun. She, she works here. It's, it's a, it's, what do you do? And you're still arresting her. And this cop, of course, yeah, you, 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 you just shut up there, buddy. Really, guys? Really? 
And again, nobody's taking away the potential seriousness before you arrive on scene. That's some serious fucking shit there, right? We know that. We know that. Hats off to our men and women who put themselves in harm's way for our safety each and every day of their lives. That cannot be, that cannot be emphasized enough. But seriously? Seriously? So here we go. The guy's got a, the, the, the gun here. He's telling the guy in the, you know, that's shooting the um, video, just back up, back up, or you'll be arrested. You can film us. You can film us, but back up. You'll be arrested. You'll be arrested. And it's like, it's like, what the heck is that? Now he's making the comparisons between Canada and the U.S. and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, so look at this. Look at this. Now, at this point, at this point, you're not thinking, hang on a sec. Maybe we shouldn't. Uh, now, I don't know what conversation is happening there, right? Maybe they're going, hey, you know, did you know that maybe it's not, uh, you know, did, who knows what's being said there? But if she was taken, now, I don't know, somebody comment below and let me know. But if she was taken into handcuffs, into the back of a car and driven down to the station, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Seriously, you should be. You should be. OK. And like I said, I'm the first to say, hey, you know what? You know, respect to what you do. But come on, you know, like, really, really here, folks, you know, let's read this uh, this article here. Uh, where are we here? We're going to read this article so this is from uh, Alberta. Yeah, this is so ridiculous. Hang on a sec. I got to move this over here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So here we go. Alberta stormtrooper bloodied during blaster related police response on May the 4th. I don't know if that's, if that's true. Was she? Was she nicked in the face or something? Did she skin her knee? God, if that's the case, that makes it even worth, worth, <laughs> worth, worse. Uh, let's see here. So here's what it says. Calgary, Lethbridge's chief of police is calling for an investigation into the actions of responding officers uh, after video of an arrest outside of a Star Wars themed restaurant on May the 4th surfaced online. Good for the Lethbridge chief of police. But I guarantee you, I mean, what else is he going to do, right? Hopefully he genuinely kind of thinks, really, guys? Like, are you guys bored or something? Like, I mean, again, you get the, you get it with them showing up on scene like, bah, 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 bah. you know, it's like, hey, what's going on here, right? But once you realize what's going on, I do not, I have a very difficult time believing that right up and right up, uh, right up until and beyond, get on the ground. They were not thinking, oh, wait a second. You know, a 19 year old employee at Coca Vanilla Galactic Cantina dressed as a familiar Star Wars stormtrooper and danced outside the restaurant with a blaster in hand to mark the occasion of May the 4th, the day Star Wars fans celebrate the iconic film franchise as a play on May the 4th be with you line. Of course, we know that. Lethbridge's police arrived with guns drawn, shouting at the teenage girl to drop her blaster, which she says she didn't hear through her stormtrooper helmet. Well, maybe. Maybe that's true. I mean, that's entirely possible. They were right there beside her. I find that a little difficult to believe. I, I think probably what was going on was, are you fucking serious? Like, is this is this really happening? Is this part of the shtick? Is, uh, did I, is this like what? Like, really? I, I think she was dumbfounded. I think she was completely dumbfounded. <sighs> Lethbridge police arrived with guns drawn, shouting to the teenage girl to drop her blaster. Oh, I already read that. Sorry, let's continue on here. Uh, quote, apparently a couple of people had called 911 and said that there was somebody with a gun on 13th Street North, said Brad Whalen, I think his name is, uh, the restaurant's owner. A number of police officers had shown up to our business with guns drawn on our employee. Now, Lethbridge's chief, chief, now Lethbridge's chief of police uh, is calling for an investigation into the actions of the responding officers after video of the arrest surfaced. Whalen says, Ash suffered a bloody nose oh okay there you go after she was tackled to the ground by officers and handcuffed are you like seriously tackled to the ground come on man like come on think about this you know, think about this here, folks. The officers approached the person and provided verbal directions to that person to drop the weapon. <clears throat> to put themselves onto the ground, said Inspector Jason Walper. W-A-L-P-E-R, it looks like the font's a little small here on my screen. It's probably bigger on yours. Of the LPS, that's the Lethbridge Police Service, I'd imagine. The person did not comply with police verbal directions. Eventually, they did after multiple uh, repeated orders given by the police officers. Whalen suspects the stormtrooper helmet restricted Ashley's ability to hear the officers, and he believes police should have been able to piece together the situation. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Nobody is going to argue showing up to a scene like that. Nobody. 
Nobody. I wouldn't. If I was dressed as a stormtrooper carrying a blaster, I would not question the police showing up to that. I might be like, really? Kind of, like maybe at first, like really? Oh, you know, but the, you know what? They're doing their job, right? They show up. They're like, hey, you know, I get it. They walk over like, hey, stormtrooper, you know, whatever. Is it? Come on. Come on, man. Jesus. Sometimes you really have to use common sense, said Waylon. When all things fit the box, you've got the signs, you've got the music, the atmosphere. A duck is a duck when it's walking like a duck. Uh, Walper, Walper, oh, says the LPS take all weapons complaints seriously. Yeah, I. Uh, so you should. A hundred percent you should. Absolutely you should. But when you start to realize what the situation is, like for example, when she dropped her blaster, let's say you don't know that, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, we it, it could be real. Yeah, I guess it could be. It's on the ground. Get on the ground! You know, you're not like, really? Why don't you just walk over there? Well, you know, why don't you walk over? But she can have another weapon. There's a Star Wars theme thing going on. The owner's going, hey, she works for me. No, she's just trying. Yo, shut up, sir. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Think about this, folks. Jesus. But of course you would take it seriously. Although I do understand the linkage to Star Wars, it's certainly not a day where our officers are expecting to have to respond to a firearms complaint. I agree. I totally agree. Again, nobody's arguing the initial arrival and even the initial kind of like, hey, hang on a sec, what's going on here? You know, but when 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 people around you are saying, no, no, wait, it's just, it's it's fake, it's plastic, it's cut, it's for the store, it's for the, you know, you don't go, oh, wait, 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 okay, okay, hang on, hang on, okay, you know, can you come here for a second, please, ma'am? You know, come here, hang on, hang on. You know what I mean? Jesus. As of Tuesday afternoon, the worker was not facing any charges. I should certainly hope not uh, in connection to the incident, but police say the investigation into the matter is ongoing. I certainly hope it is. Lethbridge Police Service Chief Scott Woods uh, uh, initiated an investigation under the Alberta Police Act to determine whether the responding officers acted appropriate. Uh, acted uh, appropriated within the scope of their training and LPS police and procedures. And of course, listen, I'm not a police officer. You know, I have no doubt that they probably did respond appropriately. I think they did. You respond, you assess, you know, you, you know, you, I get it, but there's gotta be a moment. There's gotta be a moment that, that one of the officers there was like, oh, hang on a sec. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you really got to throw her to the ground at that point? Anyways, according to Waylon, Ashley was left shaken over the ordeal. I have no doubt. I have no doubt she probably was. So, folks, I, I just, you know, I needed to sort of just vent about this, you know, but I wanted, but it, but there's two sides here, right? I, I don't want any misunderstanding and to think that I think the police should not have, you know, it all comes down to really, well, it doesn't all come down, but the 911 call, right? Who was, who was the guy or gal that called 911 and said there was somebody with a gun on the street? You know, I mean, but who knows? Was it somebody that never seen a Star Wars movie in their life? Somebody that that was maybe older that didn't that didn't piece it together or did oh the cantina the whole the happy sign thing? Now she wasn't carrying a sign, but I'm just mean that, that that's what she's doing, right? You know, okay, somebody calls nine one one, the police show up. I get it, all that. I don't have any issues with that. I just believe I, I I find it difficult to believe that there wasn't a moment in time where the police, at least one cop there went, oh, 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 listen. And then maybe took the employee back to the restaurant, had a conversation with the owner. Now, maybe they did have a conversation with the owner afterwards, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe that did happen, right? But there wasn't, instead of throwing her to the ground and bloodying her nose, not to say, you know, when her helmet was off, kind of, you know, and maybe that did happen. Maybe that did. But I just think the, I just have a very difficult time. And listen, I'm not a police officer, but I have a very difficult time believing there wasn't a moment where you're like, oh, wait a second here. It seemed a little, really? You didn't, you know? Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. That's where I tend to post in the meantime and in between time and I'm not posting here. All my links are in the description. Check them out when your heart, until your heart's content. And when your heart is content, check them out again. 
So, uh, yes, I will leave by again saying, because you know, people, there's no nuance in the world anymore. People are going, Dave hates the police. No, I, I don't. Dave says they're all, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I think there should have been a moment where it was like, oh, oh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.